Now hear me out. Arson. For the tenth time, we are not committing arson. Why not? Setting things on fire solves all our issues. The citizens may be awful people towards us, but there's lines we don't cross, Sparks. If we want to earn the respect and change the perfect city's awful thinking, we can't be harming its citizens. Boo. You're no fun. Will you two simmer down? It's nine in the morning. All the more reason to get up, Lazy Bones. All the more reason for me to go back to sleep. Rockster, explain why arson solves everything. It doesn't? See? It doesn't. End of discussion. Hmm. So what's on our agenda for today, nerds? Hmm. I don't know. The government at the city's been quiet lately. Almost too quiet. I guess day off today. Yay! I can play with my toys! Oh, wow! What if we go pick some flowers and have some fun? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present my latest piece of tech to help out our surveillance in the perfect city. Behold! It's an RC car. It's not just an RC car. It's a combat vehicle. It's got two tiny plasma blasters, a camera for spying, and an all-terrain wheels. It's a good idea, and it's a cool design. But you'd think we'll need it? Yeah, I mean, with the eight on the antenna. It's cool and all, but I don't think we'll need it. But it's also a weapon! I mean, it has a few short bursts, but it's still a cool weapon. That sounds pretty stupid, my dude. Come in, Runaway 8! I repeat, come in, Runaway 8! Talk to us, Bucket Kid. The apartment complex. People are in danger. It's on fire and everything. Hey! Don't look at me like that. Let's go investigate. Arson does solve our problems. Uh. Come on, don't have a moment to lose. Everyone, out of the area! We're here to- ah, It's you creatures! I bet they're the ones who set everything on fire. What? No! We're here to save you Cretans from the fire! Oh, sure, you come back to the scene of the crime because of your guilt! Are they stupid? Because they're really stupid. Sparks! Ah, real monsters! Relax, everyone. We're gonna help you. Hell, you are abnormal! Someone call the cops, please! I say we just go home. Fear not! Your friendly neighborhood hero is here! Ah, uh, not another one! This is I, Zero the Technological Genius. Here to save you all from this fire. Is he an alien? 
damn. There you go. I know. I'm glad I was able to save them. Wait a second. I recognize you all. You're the Runaway Eight! He's heard of us. How jolly. Yeah, I hear you're going against the perfect city's evil ruling. I'm here to help save it as well. I knew when that building was on fire, I had to help. That's great to hear! I heard a lot of fires have been happening around here. Oh, those silly model citizens. They can't seem to stop electrical fires, I guess. They're just a bunch of bigots. Don't remind me! Ugh. Oh no. It's the police! Zero, come with us! What are these cool doohickeys? My Sub-Zero Ice Guns. Designed them myself. Using the chemical components of fire extinguishers and some special wiring, components and whatnot. Damn, make Ronnie look like a dumbass in comparison. Uh, hey, that's not true at all. Are you an alien? <laughs> nope, little guy. I'm a hero like you. Just a fancy costume so I can conceal my identity. So, uh, Zero, is it? What's with the gut up? It's good for a superhero to keep his identity a secret, especially in this world where the people you save ostracize you. Dude's acting like he's out of a comic book. Awkward. What an interesting foundation. Yeah, it doesn't look like much, but it keeps us hidden from the boomers. Oh, so I see. And... You all live here alone? We're not alone, we have each other. We're like one big happy family. Oh, how wholesome. What about you, Mr. Zero? Gay, I'm getting fast. Me? I have no family. I left my family to save the perfect city. Watch it all unfold how twisted a world we live in sets people like us apart. Defiling us, violating us, ruining us. I plan to make it my duty to save the city and show myself as a hero. Uh, Rocky, I need a doctor. I believe to have cut myself on that edge. Bleh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't make fun of me. I'm dead serious! Rocky, Sparks, Squeezy, knock it off! Well, this has been fun, but now I must head off. I hope to see you on the streets and aid me in this time of need. You bet. Hmm, what's with you, Rodney? I don't know. Something just feels off about him. I think you're jealous, Rod. Jealous? I'm not jealous of him! I think you are, dude. I'm not! I just think he's weird. Like, who is he? Rod, stop worrying. Come on, I'll make your favorite pasta. Alright. Something is off about you, Zero. Is there a reason you dragged me out at three in the morning, Rodney? I need to find Zero, and you're the only one who's not sleeping. Night time is the only time I'm happy. What are we doing in the perfect city anyways? You and I both know Natasha would can our hides for this. I just need to find out what Zero's doing. Rodney, I bloody doubt Zero would be out at this time of night. He's a vigilante like us. Why can't you just let this whole suspicion thing go? It's not like, oh, what do you know? He's right there. Huh?
This will come in handy. I knew the care of function of my RC car would come in handy. Perhaps maybe holograms would be a better solution, though. Well, I spent my mom's credit card on these. Can't let them go to waste. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'll be. Then that's a sociopath. I knew there was something off about him. We have to tell Natasha and the others. What? Are you sure? Yes. We saw it with my RC car. It's true. I saw him drag an explosive tank. He's behind these attacks. Why that annoying little- oh, the nerve! That fat weasel! I'm gonna shove his glasses up his ass! <laughs> Squeevy, I get this is a serious situation, but Jesus! No need to be so fucking provocative. Everyone calm down. I'm pissed off too. But let's not go losing our heads over this. When he gets here, we'll talk to him. Hello, my fellow heroes. Ready for a day of butt-kicking action? Zero, we need to talk. What's up? You wanna borrow my fire track tapes? Shut up, Poindexter. Have you been setting up emergencies to put out? How did you know? That doesn't matter. What do you think you're doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm proving to the perfect city that I'm a hero. They see us as flawed beings, but I'm proving we're not flawed. By putting them at risk? What you're doing is wrong. This isn't heroism, not at all. You're just putting innocence in danger. That isn't being a hero. Not at all, dude. Being a hero means taking a stand against those who do wrong and helping change things for the better. And people like you, who put others in jeopardy, make things worse. It's bad enough the citizens hate us, but what you're doing only makes us look like terrorists. Oh jeez, I didn't know. I just thought if they saw our imperfections, then uh, they might change their opinion on us when we save them. What the Rudolph fuck? Two wrongs don't make a right, Zero! You're bad! <sighs> Fine. I understand now. Good. Besides, the people are brutal towards us and kids like us, Dorkface. Are they? Yeah, man. There's a reason we started this rebellion. We gotta end the corruption in the perfect city. Oh. I see now. I know what I must do. Good. Bye for now, kids. I hope he makes the right call. I'm sure he will. We'll just have to wait and see. Dig in, everyone. Uh, there's no meat on this, right? It's the same pizza we always get, Pompey. Hey, you can never be too careful. Does it look like there's meat on it? Tree hugger. Ew! Is that ice cream? Yeah. So what of it? <laughs> Pansies, you're just too cowardly to try a real pizza. Yeah, no. Diabetes is not worth a real pizza. Fine then, pussies. Come in, Runaway 8. I repeat, come in, Runaway 8. BK? What's up? That sweaty, nerdy guy you helped out. I saw him dragging a woman away from the streets. He had this crazy look on his face. I'll tell the others right away! I... guess you heard me talking to him. Yep. God, it never ends with this jackass! Oh, thank God you came quickly! Where's Zero? I saw him drag a woman into that building. Like sweat in here. At least we know we're in the right place. 
Look! <laughs> well, well, well. You found my little domain, I see. Hey, Redditor! What do you think you're doing? Oh, you like it? I thought about what you all said and decided to help rebel against the city. By what? Kidnapping the citizens? Zero, this isn't the way to help them! Thanks for showing me the way, once I get rid of this stupid woman. We'll show the perfect city that we mean business. Zero! This is messed up! What is? You set yourself, the city is brutal toward you guys as well. So let's fix that. I get it now. You're losing the courage to finish what you all started! Well, I've seen enough of the Far Trek series to know when to stop a traitor, and it's now! Oh, an old fashioned boss battle, is it? Well then. Does Pointexter think that this is a frickin' fraggin' video game? It. I'm the one who's been training years in my mom's basement for this shit. I'm not gonna let some dumb little cyborg get in the way of me being the hero! Don't worry, ma'am. I'll get you untied. Hiya! Zero, this ends he ear! Kid, I said, ow! Get off of me! Guys, you're really goddamn annoying! Rodney, are you all right? My stomach hurts. You got stabbed, little buddy, but we'll help you. Ah, 
I'm the true hero. If I die, I will die with honor. You may take my weapons, but I always will have a soul. I'm a warrior. I'm a hero. I'm God. Come on, guys. Let's go. No. Hey, Rod. How are you feeling? Pretty good. I feel a bit better. You sure had us scared! Sorry, but I couldn't just let him attack Natasha like that. Good. Make sure not to move too much. I won't. I won't. Thanks for saving me back there, buddy. No problem. I couldn't let some annoying dork harm us. That'd be humiliating. Oh, definitely. Well, you get some rest, hero. Wait, Natasha. Just one thing. Am I, uh, better than Zero? Rodney, you were always better than him. Even before he turned out to be a deranged man-child. I love you, Natasha. I love you too, Rodney. Something still kind of bothers me, though. What's that? We left in a hurry. What do you think happened to Zero? Who cares? He's an incel. I just hope that smelly nerd learned his lesson. One day, kids, I'll show you how powerful I can truly be. I'm gonna repair my gauntlets, and I'm gonna show I'm more of a hero than you'll all ever be! I am the knight. I promise I will eradicate all of you, even if it means taking Actually, out- Come on down, it's dinner time. Nah, I'm busy monologuing about destroying my arch nemesis. Monologue destroying your arch nemesis is later. Your chicken nuggets and macaroni and cheese are getting cold. Fine, mom, jeez! I will be back.